Hi everyone, so today I wanted to talk about breaking through. Something that I have to do quite often in art and something that obviously everyone thinks about probably don't, doesn't actually, don't actually talk about. So in art, things that influence me and uh, help me kind of get over that line when I'm feeling less inspired, um, I kind of have to manipulate my own mind into wanting to do something sometimes. It helps with me because I always paint in different colours, not in the same series of uh, palettes. That's that's a way I actually kind of uh, act on jumping forwards and use that as a lever to kind of move into something new. But particularly when I'm not feeling overly inspired and in weather like this in England when it gets a bit dreary, there's not much colour going on, we're moving away from autumn now and it just gets a bit cold, bleak, grey. And in these times um, that we're facing now, Moods are down, um, you know, I always try and stay quite positive and um, we spoke about that in the past, how I use other people to draw passion from, to ignite my own kind of feel the work. So things that I've done lately that I always do, I tend to kind of broaden my eye line slightly, make things a little bit wider in terms of things that I'm noticing. Um, I'm physically trying to watch new things, try and gain new information. Um, study other people that I don't really know about. So it might be a case of seeing films um, that have been recommended to me but don't really um, have this kind of instinctive um, draw to me at the start. I have to go and see new places. I listen to new music. Um, I study a lot of other artists online that don't even work in the same kind of way that I do. And just look at how they're using it and. Put a big question mark next to everything. Um, that's somewhere I start. Tools. I'll show you a clip of all the tools that I use. It's another thing that I try and um, get into new practice. Perhaps I'll use new things to just see and amplify what I do like. And or, well, I definitely don't like that. So I do like this more. I'll stick to doing that. And that is also another kind of tool that I use. It's perspective and amplification of things that I do like by trying new things. That's something we can all do in life, you know, not just to break through boundaries. And lastly, is using time and looking back and reflecting on actually what I've done and what you might have done in the period of your practice or your life, etc., or even the last year. Something that I always do is look back at old images of work, what's worked, um, the way, I, the way my mind kind of thinks, I can kind of see where I've evolved in ways uh, through the imagery, through the way that I actually dress, etc. And I, I really start to kind of zoom in on the on the, the gradient that I'm on and the, the timeline. And as I grow, it helps me notice exactly at what points have I moved up, further, left, right, whatever. Um, but... Yeah, that's something that I do massively and I use that to kind of lever forwards. So I thought that was something of interest. In particular, this piece that I'm working on now, you know, it's a new series that I'm doing, um, larger scale works, just revisiting autumn kind of tones, something that I did a year or so ago, um, just doing close coloured um, scale pieces that have that atmospheric kind of feel moving away from the vibrancy and the kind of saturated tone. Um, and hopefully that'll lead me on to, to my first couple of exhibitions next year in Manchester, solely done. So I'll be showing locally and I really want to start kind of inflicting my art publicly into the local area that I'm in. So thanks a lot. Um, let me know in comments what you think, but if that kind of rings relative to you. But for now, have a good Christmas and I'll be back soon with another video. See you later.